Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Look, lady. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. I'm interested. If you think you've got what it takes. <laughs> you're joking, right? I've been doing this since I was a kid. I know my way around. I used to run with the gunners, for God's sake. You're acting like I'm supposed to know what you're talking about. Maybe it's better that you don't. I don't want the stink of Winlock and Barnes rubbing off on me and scaring away my business. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? All I can give you is my word. And a bunch of caps. Bunch of caps, huh? Okay, hotshot. Price is 250 caps. Up front. There's no room for bargaining. I'd pay you, but I don't have that many caps to spend. Tough break. If your luck changes, I'll be here. Until then, adios. Hey. Go ahead. Paladin. There is still that off-the-record matter I'd like to discuss. Do you have time now? Absolutely. Go ahead. Thank you. This is difficult for me to say, so I hope you'll bear with me as I try to get through it. When you were first placed under my sponsorship, I had some serious reservations about it. Despite all that, this has turned out to be a rewarding experience for both of us. At this point, honestly, I don't feel like there's anything else I could teach you about being a Brotherhood soldier that you don't already know. It's apparent from your attitude and your actions that you intend to keep those ideals close to your heart. I'm flattered to hear this, but I feel like there's more. There is. I'm just not very good at these sort of things. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up alone in the capital wasteland. Spent most of my childhood picking through the ruins and selling scrap. When I was a bit older and had a few caps to my name, I moved into Rivet City and opened a junk stand. While I was there, I met a guy named Cutler. We got along pretty well. Watched each other's backs and kept each other out of trouble. When the Brotherhood came through on a recruiting run, we felt like it was a way out of our nowhere lives. So we joined up. I'm glad you had greater ambitions than just selling junk. Once I saw what the Brotherhood had to offer, there was no comparison. Anyway, about a year after we were posted to the Pridwin, Cutler vanished on a scouting op. It took some convincing, but I was able to persuade my CO to let me assemble a squad and search for him. It took almost three weeks, but we tracked his team down to a super mutant hive. Those wretched abominations had slaughtered everyone but Cutler. He should have been so lucky. The mutant bastards used their FEV to change him into one of their own kind. He wasn't Cutler anymore. I had to... It was my duty to put him down. You did the right thing. It's what I was taught. I don't know if it was right. Ever since Cutler died, I've seen other soldiers come and go. Some were brave, some were honest. Hell, some were even downright heroic. But I'd never consider any of them to be a good friend. A friend like Cutler was. Until now. It's a good feeling, but it frightens me all the same. Having a bond with someone, then losing them. It changes you. I don't want to go through that again. It would never be that way with me. I... I care about you too much to let that happen. I... I didn't know you felt that strongly about our... Well, about us. I'm sorry if I seem... confused. You... You've certainly given me something to think about. 
I just thought you deserved to know how I felt. If you feel that I've overstepped my bounds, I completely understand. Whatever the case may be, I appreciate the fact that you took the time to listen. You handled yourself well, Knight. I appreciate the backup. Of course. Mm -hmm. It may be a long time before he's fit for duty again, but I'm glad. Captain Kells will want to hear. Mm -hmm. Hey. Go ahead. I know this may sound like a strange question, but tell me, what do you think about Scribe Halen? She's as dedicated as they come. A real team player. I couldn't agree more. But I wasn't looking for an evaluation of her performance as a scribe. I wanted to know what you thought of Halen as a person. As a person? It's not like you to ask me something like that. No, it's not. The truth is, I'm worried about her. Since you and I are getting along so well, I felt like I could confide in you about it, to get your honest opinion. I appreciate that you value my opinion so highly. Tell me what's on your mind. Let me explain everything from the beginning. A few months before you found us, one of my men was shot multiple times by raiders. Halen stayed by that night's side for two days straight, without sleep, fighting to keep him alive. But he was on a slow decline. I decided that his suffering needed to end and ordered Halen to administer an overdose of painkillers so he could die with dignity. Even though I'm certain she wanted to continue fighting for that knight's life. She injected him without question. She did the right thing. Of course she did. But the decision whether or not to ease that soldier's suffering isn't the point here. The point is what happened later that same evening. Halen approached me while I was on watch. She didn't say a word, but I could tell something was wrong. After what felt like an eternity, she collapsed into my arms, crying. I didn't know what to do, so I just held her for a while. A few minutes later, she stopped, kissed me on the cheek, and simply said, thank you, before heading back into the police station. Right then, it hit me. Maybe I pushed her too hard. I ordered her to ignore her instincts, to do something her medical training told her was wrong. That's why I'm worried about her, and for that matter, everyone under my command. Halen will be fine. It's you that I'm worried about. Me? I see what you're getting at. I guess I never thought of it that way. Look, four soldiers. Over half of my team are gone. Each one of them died because of decisions that I made. I understand the risks that come with the job. We all do. But how can anyone have confidence in me anymore? Hell, how can I have confidence in myself? The way you held Halen tells me that... You care about them, and they care about you. I... I never thought of it that way. Well, it looks like things have taken a turn. I signed up to be your sponsor, so I teach you everything that I know. But it looks like I'm the one that needed the lesson today. All joking aside, I'm pleased that we had this discussion. And with all the problems you're facing, you still took the time to listen. It's comforting to know that I can speak to you as more than just your commanding officer. Does this mean you'd be there to hold me if I ever needed it? I... Uh, I don't know. I, I never thought you'd ask me something like that. It would depend on the circumstances, but I suppose we'll just have to see what happens when the time comes. Anyway, thanks for letting me get that off my shoulders. I think it's been weighing on me more than I realized. I'm only sorry you had to see me at my worst instead of at my best. I love you. I think Sean and I need to tell you how great of a mother you are, but we're going to anyway. 
You were kind and loving and funny. <laughs> That's right. And patient. So patient. Patience of a saint, as your mother used to say. Look, with Sean and us all being at home together, it's been an amazing year, but even so, I know our best days are yet to come. There will be changes, sure, things we'll need to adjust to. I'll rejoin the civilian workforce. You'll shake the dust off your law degree. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. Now say goodbye, Sean. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye, honey. We love you.